Jay Bird here for NorCal Brewing Solutions. Hey, I wanted to go over some of the components of our latest still design. Um, <clears throat> we've been designing stills uh, in our fabrication department and building stills for the last three or four years, and this is our latest design. And we haven't had an opportunity to just go over the components of what you're getting, what you're looking at, and why we have done what we've done um, within this system. So, um, you know, sit back, relax, grab your favorite libation. It's an all-electric system, so you can do this um, indoors. You're still going to want some some air evacuation within um, where you're distilling inside, but you don't have to worry about the gaseous fumes from propane or uh, from wood fire, that kind of thing. So. Um, <clears throat> At the heart of our system is the controller, and this controller here is 240 volts. Um, it is a 30 amp, and it'll allow us to run, we run in this system a 2400 watt, 240 volt electric element. The controller itself also has um, two auxiliary 110 volt switches where you can run pumps, you can run lighting, you can run whatever it is that you want to run um, on an auxiliary switch. Um, and the controller itself is a distilling controller, so it'll allow you to ramp up your temperatures, hold your temperatures, and then it'll allow you to do the run out of your tails. Um, um, so anyway, and this runs off of a RTD on the very top of the line arm. So what we started with is a brand new 15 and a half gallon keg. Um, we buy these, we source these here in the United States. And then what we've done is we've taken a six inch triclover ferrule and welded it to the top of the keg. And the reason we did a six inch is so we can actually get in there and clean this boiler when everything is said and done and, and you're completed with your runs. Um, we then go from a six inch triclover through our reducer to two inch. And this is a very key component going to two inch triclover. What this does for um, our systems is allows our systems to be 100% convertible, which means that we can actually move components around within the still depending on what we're doing, what we're distilling, and how we want to run this. So this system here, we can run this as a neutral column, we can run this to run our stripping runs, um, our spirit runs, we have a thump tank here if you're running your, uh, your corn liquor or your other rums, things of that nature. Um, and then so we go from our six inch to our two inch and we've added a sight glass and I like having a sight glass in our distillation system so we can kind of get an idea of what we're doing and how things are running. So this will allow us to see if our boiler is over boiling starting to foam up and getting into our columns. It also allows us to see our refluxing from our deflag meter. So as we're running our deflag meter and we're actually refluxing our spirits back down into the boiler, we can see that going on here and we can adjust our water flow based on the amount of reflux we want to see. So that takes us to the deflag meter. The deflag meter is a three half inch internal tubes two inch triclover external tube. It has male MPT fittings for the inlet. We throw a ball valve on the outlet so you can adjust your water flow right here um, based on the amount of reflux that you want. That takes us from here to our line arm. We've taken our line arm, we actually throw a perforated plate in the bottom so we can pack this with copper mesh as well. Um, takes us across our line arm to our down comber. This is a custom made piece in our fabrication department. And what we do is this goes from an inch and a half triclover down to one inch tube. That one inch tube runs down through this, down into the bottom of our thump tank. 
and this is where we would be able to throw our water for our thumb tank or some people run other spirits in there they run wash backwash whatever it is you're going to throw in your thumb tank this is where you would put that that vapor then comes back up the outside of this through our condenser now this is a condenser that we actually build in house and what we've done is it's a half inch internal tube that runs straight through. We have welded heat sinks along the internal tube of this to actually help with the extraction of heat. Um, it makes the water path move around within the condenser itself to also be more efficient with your water. So if you're running this on a recirculation system, you will be able to either one, use a smaller recirculation system and use less water. Um, so that takes us through most of the components um, of this. This is a 1 6th barrel volume. This is a 15 and a half gallon boiler. So the other thing that we've done is we place this system on a table that we've built and designed. And each one of these two vessels here are bottom drained. So we've welded ports in the very bottom of this, allowing us to drain this keg 100% from the bottom. And if you notice on the table, the stand itself, we have left it open in the front so you can set your buckets in and out of there easily. Now moving around to the back side, we have actually put an inlet on both the thump tank and the boiler. And the reason we did this is so if you are running multiple runs and you are wanting to continuously run this system, it will allow you to feed it and drain it between your runs without having to take it apart. Um, It'll also allow you to run cleaning fluid or water in without having to take it apart. It's just a nice added bonus that we decided to do on both of our vessels here. Because the system is 100% convertible, it allows us to move these components around based on the spirits that we're trying to uh, we're trying to create here. And so, all of this being triclover. Right now we have this set up in a way that we can actually reflux our spirits back into the boiler. For the people that are creating gins, um, because we've thrown a perforated plate here in our line arm system, you can throw botanicals in this upper column here to be able to run your neutral spirits through for your gin. Whether you're taking the thump tank out of the equation or not, so if you want to set this up as a reflux column and you want to eliminate the thump tank in the system completely, it's really just as simple as taking our condensing unit and adding it here, removing this line arm and the down comber, and that would allow you to condense here. If you're running a stripping run, and you want to remove these components to be able to run this system a lot faster for you, it's really as simple as removing these components, putting your line arm connected here, and then moving your condenser over, taking the thump tank and the refluxing system completely out. The system itself will then run faster and you can get through stripping runs rather quickly. You can buy once and never have to buy another piece um, again. If you have questions or comments, leave a comment below. Please don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel and um, email us at sales at NorCalBrewingSolutions.com. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.